Hello everybody, my name is Coco and welcome to my Gaming in Review 2015. So today I'll be taking a look at gaming in the past year and what it meant to me and my channel. I presented a load of new and exciting games to my channel this year and I should name some of those that didn't get to my top 5 of the year list but are still great. Games like Sunless Sea, which is a game set in dark gothic world of the fallen London where you sail around the dangerous unknown Hunter Z, discover secrets and fight dangerous monsters with your steampunk ship and a crew of misfits, it's a very dark and dangerous game where you will die many times on your voyage, but it's still a great game. Or Lathis Path of Progress, which is a city builder game set in a Victorian steampunk world where you take care of your settlers and build a bright new future for them using automatons and steam and all the kinds of good things that good old games like Caesar in the past in the 90s presented for the city builders. It's a great game, it has been quite overlooked in this year, but still, give it a try, it's really good. Or Dax, which is a 2D side-scrolling open-world RPG set in a futuristic cyberpunk city with name Harbor Prime, where your character, which is named Dax, and it's a girl, fights and hacks and explores the dangers of the future in that futuristic style that is really great, handwritten, it's really, really good. Give it a try. It has been overlooked in this year, but still, it's a great game. Try it out. Now, let's jump on my list of top 5 games of 2015. On the 5th place is Invisible Inc. A game where you take control of a group of agents on the field and infiltrate the world's most dangerous corporations. It is a game where a combination of stealth, sneaking around and occasional combat, which was usually punishing to you, let's make that clear, it made this turn-based game really enjoyable to play with, different combinations of agents and randomly generated levels really made the countless hours of replayability worth it. So yeah, Clay did a really great job with the game and I strongly recommend it to all the fans of tactical espionage games or clay games. On the fourth place are the three expansions that came out for Europa Universalis 4 this year, namely El Dorado, Common Sense and the Cossacks late in the year. They added a lot to the already huge game and I played them all and I enjoyed each and every one of them. With the new fort system, new nations, new exploration options, new peacetime activities, whatever it was, EU4 just keeps on growing and growing into a truly best strategy game out there of all times, I dare say. It's really great, give it a try. On third place is another game crying from the Clay's Masterminds and it is the new expansion for survival game Don't Starve called Shipwreck which is still in early access as we speak. Good old unforgiving survival just became tougher with a whole new world to explore with new items, enemies and seasons all there to get you and to make your life miserable and to kill you and to make you starve and all the crap that happened in the old Don't Starve game, but it's really great. Shipwreck added boats and rafts and opened up the seas for exploration which added a total new level to the whole game. The game keeps on growing and deserves its spot under the sun. Give it a try, it's a fucking great game. On the second place is a first expansion for Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth called The Rising Tide that came out in October. It fixed a lot of issues that people actually had with Vanilla Beyond Earth and added a whole new tactical level with ocean cities and new underwater resources. The four new playable sponsors added the much needed depth to the shortlist that was previously available, 
but still it might not yet be enough because the game is not Civ 5 and will probably never be. But the whole feel of the unknown when you are starting a new colony on an alien world in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by aliens and other creatures, is just the greatest. And the first place goes to my beloved RimWorld and its countless alphas that came out this year. I presented them all on my channel from Alpha 9 to Alpha 12 and as the game grew, my love for it grew with it. Managing your colony and surviving on the unknown world on the rim of the galaxy with just a handful of essentials and then eventually growing to a huge sprawling colony under constant attacks from space pirates, hostile tribes, mechanoids, animals, rival towns and even nature. Even nature. The game just keeps on giving and even if your colony ends in death and destruction from fire or poisoning or attacks or whatever it happens or you manage to build a spaceship and escape, you will feel satisfaction in the end. A great modding community provides an additional depth to the already huge game and special thanks goes to the Tyrus developer Titan who provided me with countless hours of fun with this game. The game is still in alpha, but it is it deserves the first place. It's one of the best games I ever played. Give it a try. So with that, my review of gaming year 2015 ends. There were many great games I played on my channel and I had a lot of fun playing them all and hopefully entertaining you while I did so. So I hope you enjoyed this review and remember till next time to do your magic. Ciao ciao.